Hello everybody and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2 modded. We're jumping again this time as the assassin, a pretty interesting looking guy. We've got these daggers here that we can throw around. We've got a thrown poison potion. We have the cloaking roll here and we also have the spinal tap for backstab damage and potential insta kills even on bosses but a much, much lower chance at achieving that, only 10%. But still, we get the new floor yet again here. Uh, this guy seems like he's going to be a pretty fast character. I really like the uh, idea of the thrown daggers. I think they look pretty goddamn cool. Um, we can do some good stuff with them. I mean, the animations on this guy look pretty great as well. This guy with high movement speed is going to be wild. Ooh, I like that. That's some good range. And we got the poison there. And then that is a, a really good movement ability there, honestly. This guy with attack speed seems like the way to go here. Okay, so it doesn't apply a debuff of poison, by the looks of it. That went through his legs. <laughs> and then we can go behind an enemy there and, yeah, insta-kill him. Works on any lesser enemy that isn't a boss. Like the smoke trail this has. Yeah, I'm just interested to see what I can do in terms of attack speed with this thing. This guy seems like he's going to be amazing with high attack speed. Right. I can just go behind you and be like, whoop. Actually, they didn't insta kill you. Maybe you're not a lesser enemy. Still, though, that was decent. This was decent. We've got the Monster Tooth Necklace to begin with. On Monsoon, I can't complain about healing off the bat, to be honest. What I can complain about is the lack of chests. I'm not seeing many chests at all here. Oh, man. Very enjoyable ability here. There's a few chests. Good, good. A crit glasses seem like they're going to be very, very good. And then we got regen health on kill. Also really good here. So we don't have a lot of AoE with this guy is one thing that I'm getting. Um, which isn't particularly a problem. Ooh, these guys got... This, these things have got a little bit of dip to them. They kind of slow enemies down on hit as well. Much else down here? No. We saw another chest over here, didn't we? There you go, yep. Oh god, a little bit too speedy there. And increase a random stat. Not bad, not bad. Okay. We got a triple shop over that way. We got our, oh, big chest this time, rather than a scrapper. Lovely. As I was saying in the last episode, it's a guaranteed big chest or scrapper. Get a buff that grants armor and healing on item pickup. That's decent. I'm, I'm surprised that doesn't like apply some sort of poison debuff to them. I thought it would have done. Right. Come on, my assassin buddy. Let's check what we've got going on here. Honestly, I'm going to take the fireworks early on. It's reasonably decent. And right, now we've got to hope for the 10% chance to instantly kill a boss. That's going to be pretty good. Oop, he's got knives stuck in him. I can see him. Okay, that's the, 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 the thrown the throne poison's got a little bit of AoE to it. Not a ton, but a little bit. That is speedy as all hell, though. Special when we do that. And the teleporter's up here again. It was up here last time. Pretty sure. Okay. Right. Backstab the boss, wherever you are. Ah. Did good damage, but no insta-kill. Kind of to be expected. Gotta remember that makes me invisible. Very worthwhile using it. I missed. I wasn't close enough. Okay. Good, good. And we get ourselves this, which is a power apply barrier on getting bleed. Or uh, the way around. Gain barrier on applying bleed. Not bad. Right, straight to the next floor. Reasonably speedy first floor. Don't think I got a ton of chests on that floor, though. Not a ton of items overall. Try shop up the bat. 
Okay, and some shield increases attack speed while your shield is active. We like that quite a lot too. Look at the way we run. It's beautiful. Gotta remember this. Uh, there's, there's some drop to this bad boy. And chest over here. The attack speed gained though. Like I said, this character seems like he's going to thrive on attack speed. Has been hit twice for a short amount of time. Receive a huge flat damage reduction from all attacks. Nice. What is that? Is that an essence? I think I've got an essence there. Increase crit damage and crit chance. Lovely. There we go. We do get a base chance up to apply bleed here. Not a ton, but a little bit of bleed. Not a bad thing. Right. Now we've just got a f We can find a few chests. We do get a scrapper here. Um, I actually don't know if I want to scrap anything right now. I'm pretty happy with my loadout. We'll see what it comes down to. I'm going to go with the increased health regen. I think having a lot of health regen is going to be super helpful for us, just for it being monsoon difficulty. Oh, we got another one of these. Could get just mega health regen, but I think that's a little bit too heavy on the, uh, on the defensive side. Got a Lunar item over here. I don't really take Lunar items very often in my runs, so it might be worth having a little perk and see what's available. Hellfire Tincture. Can I everyone, including you and allies? I mean, maybe we can offset it with the um, amount of health regen we get going on. Especially when we get more on kill. We'll try it on the boss and see if it kills us, I guess. I really like the idea of this guy just throwing daggers to the... It's pretty saucy. Okay, hey, that's Heliporter. Didn't take too long to find that. Normally, the stage could be a bit of a nightmare. Weren't too bad this time, though. But I still feel we're missing a good few chests. And we get this urchin thing now. Why well, have a shield? Shock enemies on taking damage. We've got a shield, so that's good. There's another lunar pod. This time we've got the glass veil. Gain a veil which blocks damage and gives you invincibility and makes you immune to indirect. But your max health cannot exceed one. Excuse me. Hold up, hold up. I need to re I need to get a good read on this because I don't really understand what's going on right now. Hold up, hold the phone. Right, gain a veil which blocks damage that gives you invincibility and makes you immune to all indirect damage. I don't really know what this means, but I'm gonna just stick with it and see if we die. It seems interesting, regardless. I don't know why a bunch of items dropped on the floor here. I think they're getting rid of my shield-based items, maybe. Okay. Well, I have one health now. Interestingly enough. So, let me... Quickly go back to the scrapper, wherever that was. And I've got some items I need to scrap. Because I've got a bunch of stuff now that makes no sense. That's not what I meant to scrap, obviously. God damn it, game. Okay. Accidentally scrapped one of my best items. Oops. Now, question. Will Hellfire Tincture instantly kill me? Bigger question. Am I willing to try it? Yes, I am.
Interestingly enough, no, it didn't. Am I just immune to damage forever? <laughs> Can I die? I don't know what the deal is with this boss either. Ooh, shurikens is actually perfect for this setup. Give me more shurikens. Also, I've become fully invincible, and I'm not entirely sure why. Shurikens is pretty interesting with this character. Yeah, why am I fully invincible now? Is that going to be permanent? We'll find out. I... Okay, no, I am here. I am here. I was going to say I'm not permanently invincible, but invisible, but I'm not. What stage are we on here? Ah, I see. I see where we are now, yeah. Give me more shurikens, baby. I want more of this. Watch out. Do my dagger in you. This is such a... A weird and wild setup we got going on right now. I'm interested in the fact that I can just use the Hellfire Tincture completely for free, seemingly, without any worry to myself. Don't know how I'm meant to be able to die here. God damn it, two jellied souls. We don't really care about that, do we? Unless we can die to fall damage, then we probably do care about it quite a bit. things down here. Where are all the enemies at? We're in very hard difficulty. There should be more enemies than this. I do not know. The chest over here. Yeah, literally this, this floor is dead. No one. Ain't nobody home. Roller quarters, probably decent. Oh, we got another item here. Another jellied soul. I think I'm okay, thanks. Got a ton of money out of nowhere, kind of. We're just getting two items for every one now. What's going on here? What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Where did this come from? Can I get out onto these shipping containers? Will that kill me? Doesn't seem to be anything of any importance up here. To me, at least. Yeah. Oh, there's one of those guys down there, chilling. I think it killed itself. Oh, hello. Where's the teleporter at? Pop my Hellfire, why not? It doesn't seem to be able to do damage to me. It does kind of flash in a, in a way that's not great for the eyes. Did my... That item seriously transform to scrap? Are you kidding me? Not completely terrible, but still. Of all the things. Okay, teleporter is... Here, I think? Yes, here, okay. Good, good, good. Right, backstab that thing. I mean, I, it's a it's a magma worm, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm meant to backstab it, but I tried my best. Genuinely have absolutely no idea what this lunar item is and why I can't die, but so far, it seems very good. I'm sure there is probably a way I can die, but I do not know what it is. Oh, 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 I lost my barrier for a hot minute there, okay. I think it's just if I take enough damage in a short amount of time, then my barrier goes away. 
Sends on hits, fire magma balls. We like that. We like that. And hopefully we can get something beautiful in the shop here. Two thousand. Two. Oh, I want that scepter. That seems amazing. Um. I don't know why I took that, to be honest. It's not that good for me. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here I don't need. I, I could do with a scrapper right now. I can buy another veil. I have two now. Is that a good thing? Hmm. Ah, oh, I am very sad at the fact that I've just taken that. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we have ruined our attack speed. It's all in the journey of learning, though. Our attack speed is now absolutely abysmal. It increases pretty quick on hitting things, actually. Okay. This is actually amazing. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. It ramps up pretty goddamn fast. Alright, we've got to go find the eggs. Did we clear that void seed already? Wow. Okay. Can I even use these? Yes, I can. Okie dokie. Right. Where's me eggs at? Show me me eggs. A lot of money there. Don't know what that is. Aim at equipment to decompose it into item scrap. Okay. Mm. Interesting, but not as good as this. I see one egg. I would like to see more egg. I see another egg. Egg two taken care of. There's a teleporter, at least. Don't even know what this is. I'm going to just grab it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that's the overclock one. Show me where you egg. I see them. I don't like the squelching sounds that I'm hearing right now. They're off-putting. Chill, you. Chill. Double item again. I don't know why I'm getting double items, but I'm happy about it. More eggs. I'm surprised the boss hasn't spawned yet, to be honest. It's a fake teleporter here. It's cracked. There we go. The worship unit is inbound. Okay, I don't know how easy or quick this is going to end up being. We'll find out. This doesn't seem super fast so far. We need more on-hit effects. Oh, we are dead. Okay. Well, we learnt the limits of this item. 
Um, I don't really know how that item works, like, at all. <laughs> Which blocks damage and gives you invincibility and makes you immune to all indirect damage. Doesn't really give a good explanation of what's going on with that, but that's a bit of a look at an assassin. Not the longest run you've ever seen, but interesting nonetheless. We took some wild bets on various things. Hope you guys did enjoy this one nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.